got a little preview of the May issue of the Mover magazine for you. Uh, all kinds of stuff in it, as always, and I hope you enjoy reading the stories. Uh, there's a bit of a Ukrainian uh, feel about this issue, as um, I'm sure you can imagine there would be. Uh, there's quite a few stories in there that are related to it in, in one way or, or another. Um, for example, there's a, a story um, that's come from Alta Vita, the housing people, about how they're helping people find um, find accommodation. There's a story about how the war has affected world trade, which I think you find interesting. Um, there's even a, an ins- a story from an insurance company uh, talking about evacuation planning. If you've got people uh, working in different countries, you never know when this kind of thing is going to going to break out. And so um, what do you do about getting your people out and, and preparing for it? Uh, but the main story is um, about th- some of the work that some moving companies in the UK have been doing um, to help the people in Ukraine and get supplies over there. Now, I just wanted to say that I know that there are a lot of other companies that are doing things too. Uh, it's just that, uh, of course, if I don't know about them, then I can't write about them. Uh, and, um, uh, and, and this is just a very small part of the total effort that this industry is making. I know that. Uh, and maybe uh, as time goes by, I'll be able to reflect some of other people's uh, and companies' stories too. But this is just um, an initial story about what some of the UK companies are doing. Please, uh, please have a look. It's, it's very impressive, I think. Um, th- there's lots of other things in the in the magazine as well. There's one story about, um, uh, about Fabio from Invictus in Portugal. And you know, it just goes to show that you don't really know people until you know when when you go along to conferences and you meet people and you you chat in the bar and so on. Um, you don't really know what they've been through, the experiences that they've had uh, before they got there. And Fabio's is um, an interesting story and one that I know that you'd like to have a look at. So, which is why it's included. So do do read that one. Um, there's also a, a little piece in there from. Um, uh, from Canada that's come from Walt Pinock who has uh, bought a, a, a relocation company over there and I've called it the challenge of opportunity. Now you, you will, many of you will know Walt for doing these rather strange challenges where he goes running all over the place and riding his bike and those, those kind of things. This is a business challenge and a different type of thing altogether uh, but I thought you'd be interested to know about it so that's uh, that's in there too. Um, and um, the main story, our headline story, or, or front cover story, as it were, is an interview that I did with Alan Cartwright. Uh, now, Alan is uh, was in the, in the moving industry for a very long time, and still is, um, but it's a slightly different side of it. He's he's involved in moving um, moving things that just have to be there, uh, things like. Um, uh, musical instruments for for bands um, when they're opening at uh, uh, you know the major event or, or the um, uh, sports equipment for uh, the uh, rugby six nations or those those kinds of things things where there really is no option but for them to arrive um, in good order and on time um, and I've called it failure is not an option uh, and um, and that there's a reason for that as well, because one of the major projects that they've just been involved in, this company has just been involving, was moving the James Webb telescope from where it was being tested to where it was going to be launched into space. Now, there's another example of uh, something that um, must be the most precious cargo that any moving company has ever moved, I suspect, and something that really just had to be there on time. And it's an interesting tale, and uh, please do take a look at that. So it's our um, centre centre page story this month. Uh, lots of other things in there as well. And I, before I leave, I just wanted to offer my condolences to the family of Eddie Pfeiffer uh, from HVD Insurance in Germany, uh, who died recently. Uh, he was only 68. Um, great guy, and, um, and I'm sure his death must have been a tremendous shock for his family and uh, our thoughts are with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.